Hello and welcome to another Mustang project. I did not mean for uh, two Mustang projects to be so close together, but here we are. This is a 2017 Mustang GT350 that has seen quite a bit of track time and it already has some paint protection film on the vehicle that we're gonna be replacing. This install is very much a kit install. Once we're done with this, it's gonna have a lot better coverage. It's gonna be a much more invisible install. And we're also not gonna be doing these partial panels. Like this has partial hood, partial fenders, and then also it's got like a partial roof and pillars. On this particular vehicle, it's seen so much track time that the lack of coverage is definitely hindering the cleaning process and it's certainly hindering the condition of the vehicle. One of the things I first saw was actually a strip on the roof, which makes sense. If you don't wanna do the whole roof, I totally get that. But the install stops right on the edge versus wrapping around that corner. And if you wrap around the corner, you actually get coverage on the front part of this roof where it's really most likely to get chipped up. Another thing to point out is that there is a seam on this bumper on both edges of this body line here. We're gonna completely eliminate that seam. It's a place for dirt to build up. That's a little hard to get dirt and stuff out of unless you're using a really, really fine towel and really spending the time to scrub in there. Another thing that could have been avoided is that uh, on this edge here, the film stops short. And so there is some damage on the edge of this bumper here. Every car is a little unique on what you can and can't wrap inside of panels, but stopping this film so short here is something that we're gonna be able to address with the customer. Fix that for them and you'll have a lot better coverage for the track time ahead. Here's another weird thing. So the fender has PPF on the front part of it, but it stops right here and then completely devoid of any sort of PPF and then a new piece right here. That new piece doesn't wrap around the front edge to protect from the tire sling, which was a little bizarre to me. So when we replace this fender, it will wrap around that front edge. Having the full panel covered would have saved a lot of headache. And it also would have been something that if anything were to happen, it would have protected it a heck of a lot better than having nothing at all and just having this little piece up front and this piece back here. And then we're also gonna be doing the extended rockers. Now there is an option to just do the entire quarter panel that comes with extra cost. And based on the budget of this car and the fact that it's being tracked uh, on a regular basis, um, it's nice to be able to have some parts of the car where we can just rip off a piece and put a new one on as it gets beat up inevitably as it will. And so what we're gonna be doing, we're doing this entire rocker panel through here, stopping it off at the body panel, of course. And then we're gonna do a larger piece back here. It's gonna start on this edge, kind of wrap around the front part come up to this body line, and then we're gonna bring this kind of down and around and try to hide it as the light curves around the panel. Now, the more invisible method of install is gonna do the whole quarter panel, but as I said, that comes with more cost. It's gonna protect all of this that's already started to get a little pitted up. There is a huge amount of gap between the film where it stops on the bumper here and the grill. Now, not taking the entire bumper apart, I could totally understand having a gap there for this specific purpose on how this person is now using this car. This install is not adequate. The stripes in particular are starting to get a little beat up. The film is super, super swirled up. It's quite hazy and it's got a lot of texture to it. So replacing that with S-Tex Dino Shield is gonna make a huge difference visually with a low texture, high gloss, and it's also gonna have a self-healing top coat to it. So it's not gonna swirl up like this film does. And then also we're gonna be replacing the stripes on the entire vehicle. One thing is there is a decent gap on these stripes from the factory on the bumpers, but you know, trying to get rid of those gaps, I think will end up with a better product. Another thing to note on vehicles with stripes and you're doing paint protection film, there's a couple different options. There's one option is bringing the film up to the stripe, stopping it, and then you can either put a piece over the, over the vinyl or not, and then doing a piece in the middle. I don't like that method um, for a couple reasons. Uh, it's, it has its place and you, the benefit of it is when you do film over the stripe, you'll get a bubble line on the edge because the film can't conform completely to that change in elevation in such a short period of space. The other option is doing film underneath the stripe and then doing the stripe on top where you will have an edge of the vinyl that you can kind of catch a towel on. That's the downside of it. The upside is you're not married to that stripe. If you want to just remove that stripe at any point, you can, and your film's still there. And just like that, like magic, we are day four. This project is completed.
done a huge transformation on this car. Having that old film off, putting some new film on makes a huge difference visually on the car. It also gives us a lot better coverage for the future of this car. When this car does see track time, it's gonna have a lot better protection and it's gonna look better doing it. Uh, we've also added a couple little custom tweaks throughout. We added the grabber blue brake calipers with black lettering to kind of tie in with that black and blue theme we got going on. Full stripe replacement on the entire vehicle. And we tucked around these front edges here and around the back edges. So no more gap. PPF on that whole front bumper, the hood, the fenders, the lights. The car looks so, so much newer. There are some little dimples here and there from rock chips where there wasn't film coverage beforehand. Things like on the fender here that cleaned up really well, but it's stuff like down low on the bumper where there were some gaps and some edges from that previous install. There's some little hits there. We sanded those down, did some correction on them, added some touch up in some spots. Another thing we address is these front fenders had some, some pretty gnarly scratches and some like tar and rubber hits on them. That all cleaned up pretty darn well. And we no longer have this partial fender here. It's the full coverage, which is what's needed on a track car. I mean, you're gonna get rubber hits like we saw earlier. All it takes is one bad angle going through a corner and you get something and it leaves a big old mark that's irreparable rather than just repainting the panel. We're just gonna cover the whole thing. And so that's gonna have better protection for the car. Cleaned up this hard line, the PPF line on the roof, as well as the pillars. Those are cleaned up now. You no longer have that mineral buildup on the edge. The mirror install doesn't have that big old relief cut anymore. It's all one piece. That's a lot, lot cleaner look. And it's gonna have some better coverage as well as it just looks visually a lot better. The extended rocker panel is gonna be hugely important for this car and it's track time. So covering this panel all the way down through here and doing this whole panel and then bringing it up, tucking in that front edge there, bringing it up and down through here. Gets you a lot better coverage so when this gets hit, it's no biggie to just pull it off and replace it because it will get hit from those front tires. There's no doubt about it. Also, the stripe going along the back before it did not have any stripe on the trunk because this is a 350 and it's got a 350R wing on it. It had some holes there that the customers had some, some plugs in, but during that process, the stripes were removed. So adding that stripe back kind of completes the whole look of the car and then coming around to the back, um, added stripes to the, the lower part of the bumper as well. It just cleans up the whole car. The stripe looks so much fresher because it is, but it just, makes the car look brand new again. Uh, it's gonna see some track time, it's gonna get beat up a little bit more, but now it's protected properly. It's gonna have a long life ahead of it in terms of looking good at the track as well as hopefully going fast. I know this customer's gonna go have some fun with it. He's gonna pick it up in a trailer in his Durango tow vehicle, which is super cool. Uh, and I think I'm gonna see this thing on track uh, pretty shortly.